Prince. You met Prince. Prince was a friend of mine. He was a friend of mine. What was those conversations? Because he, look, I mean, sometimes we don't really re understand or, or appreciate someone until they're gone. I did. I was a big Prince fan. All this <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Because he could play all the instruments. He could sing. He could dance. He was an entertainer yeah. that could sing. And what he wrote, I mean, who thinks of Cherry Moons? Who thinks it snows in April? Who a raspberry beret or a, a, a pink cashmere? The thing, the purple rain, the things that he wrote about. Well, like, bro, who who mind goes there? Yeah, he was um, he was like any unlike anybody in the world. Um, he he was um, he was just an amazing individual. I, I was able to meet him when I was twelve, and I knew him. Uh, my entire life, through all of his changes, I was able to um, assist him many times. If you go look at Prince's car collection, you'll see that Prince don't have not one car Cat Williams ain't got. He got the Prowler from Friday after next sitting there. He got the same Bentley as me, like because we share certain things. Our our connection was lyrics, musical lyrics, um, women, and cars. And that's, those are the areas where he trusted uh, my opinion on things. And um, that's where I got to be helpful in his life. And he was helpful in mine in um, really all different types of ways, especially about the business as far as being a black man that was rich in this business at 18 years old, had already did his first million dollar contract, had already broken records, was determined that he didn't want to be like anybody else, was a, so great of a guitar player that black people just stopped caring about guitar. And he got left out on a limb and somehow still had to create his way out of that. He was just really a, a, a one in a billion type person. I was lucky to know him.